Hey everybody, it's Heidi here and you are watching Heidi Creates. We've had the holidays that we've been going through, so I haven't been getting a lot of art projects done because I've had a lot of other projects and sewing um, things to get done for gifts and things like that. And so actually I've been doing videos of that. This time, this is it's going to be that as well. It just kind of, it's, uh, I guess it's a two for one, I guess, for me. I can, I can do a video and get actual um, projects done that I need to get done for gifts. So this is going to be one of the last ones I'm going to do with those. And what this is, is it's a little, um, it's a little coin pouch and that you can put on your keychain or hook onto your purse. And, you know, we all have those uh, grocery stores where you got to put a quarter in to get the shopping cart. And um, sometimes we're scrounging for those quarters that we need. And so this, always have it right where you need it and you won't ever have to guess where you where, where your quarter is. And so we're going to go through um, this quick and easy project and how to make a little coin pouch. For our coin pouch, we are going to need five pieces of fabric. Two of the pieces are going to be two inches by two and three quarter inches, and that's of your main fabric and your lining. To the back of your main fabric, you will want to also iron on fusible interfacing, and what I'm using is SF101 by Pellon. Your other two pieces of fabric need to be two inches by two inches, and that is of your main and lining. And again, on the back of your main fabric, you have the interfacing. The other strip of fabric is one and a half inches wide, three eighths of an inch wide uh, loop. That's what you would need to, to cut it at is one and a half inches. And I think this is, I probably cut this about two and a half inches long. It doesn't really matter other, other than you just don't want it too short. And what I did with this, is um, I'm sure most of you know this already, but you press in half, open it up, take both edges in, pressed in towards the center, and then fold in half again. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and top stitch this with a with a 3.0 stitch length, and I will go ahead and do that now. All right, I did the top stitching on that, and if you want to, you can fold your uh, piece in half and do some stay stitching on there just to keep that from shifting when we go to um, insert this into the pouch. So the next step is to take your two by two inch pieces, the one that's your main fabric, and we're going to flip that over. This is where you're going to do a little pattern making. You're going to take a quarter and you're going to lay that quarter on one of the edges of this fabric, of your main fabric. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the line of this, this edge going about halfway, at the halfway mark of that quarter. So then I'm going to take my pen. I also have it centered as best as I can in the center this way too. And just real quick here. And draw a line. All right, now that I have my quarter shape on there, you can see that. This just makes it easier for when you go to turn this, or excuse me, when you go to stitch this, I'm just knowing exactly where to pivot. I'm just going to make quarter inch lines on either side of that arc, just coming down from the top edge, a quarter of an inch on both sides. Take my lining fabric, put the right sides together. If you'd like, you can pin that. But I'm going to go ahead and stitch right on my line that I drew, and then I'll come back and show you the next step. All right, I've stitched on my line, and I did iron that away just so you could see the stitching just fine. I did uh, put my stitch length at a 2.0 for this. So I'm going to trim this down now to about an eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to do the same thing inside the arc, trim that down. And then I'm going to trim those corners off, just being very careful about my stitching that I am not removing any, cutting into my stitching at all. Now I'm going to make little notches around my circle, or around my 
half circle. I think I got it pretty well notched out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that now. And I do like to use my little turning tool here just to help. Um, I use the flat edge and then just kind of run it along that stitch line. And then it just pushes up that corner really nicely without poking through the fabric. So I will press this and then I will give it um, a top stitch here as well. I will go ahead and increase my top stitch. Anytime I stop top stitch, I, I usually do a 3.0 stitch length. That's just my preference. So now that this has been top stitched, what I'm going to do now is actually trim this. This is too long this way. And I'm going to trim that down to one and um, one and a quarter inches from the top edge. There we go. So here's what we're going to do next. Now that we've trimmed this down, down here, we're going to take our lining fabric and have that facing up. If it's directional, make sure you've got it going in the direction you need. Take the lining side to your little slot pouch thing, your little coin slot, and lay that on top of this lining fabric. You're making sure your edges and your bottom edge and your two side edges all line up. Then take your main fabric, turn that upside down, and lay that right on top, making sure all everything is lining up all the way around. At this point, you know, you can put in um, couple clips or pins put in our little loop and what you're going to do is you're going to take the fold edge of your loop and you're going to stick that inside I don't want it to get caught in the fold of, of my flap so I'm making sure I have it more towards the top than anything and then from where a quarter of an inch is I want about at least oh, half an inch or so of it sticking inside. Um, don't really need a whole lot, just enough so that you can put your little split ring in there. Let's clip that in. So here is what I'm going to do as far as the stitching. Just above where that little slot pocket is that you know the coin slot piece I'm gonna start above that oh about a good quarter of an inch or so or eight eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch but I want to make sure I anchor that edge down really well and then I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance I'm gonna come go all, go down across the bottom up the side over my loop here up to the top turn go all the way around until I get to the top again I'm gonna leave about an inch, maybe just a slightly, slightly smaller than an inch opening on the side of the flap over here. And that's gonna be for turning the piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the quarter inch seam allowance all the way around, leaving the opening. I have stitched all the way around, leaving an opening on the flap side. Um, one of the things I, if I didn't mention this before, is be sure that you do back stitch on either side of the opening. That way, those stitches don't come out. And then next is just going to be trimming this up. Um, you can trim it down to, you know, an eighth of an inch if you want to, just eliminating some bulk, which is kind of nice to do for something, especially something so small. You know, taking those corners off. I don't like to um, trim at all on the edge that I'm going to be turning. I want something left over to turn. So, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this piece. It's a little fiddly because it's small, but one of the things, you know, take something that doesn't have a, a sharp point, something that has a blunt end. I like to use this pen and, you know, if you kind of pull open the pouch, pull it apart like that and get something started in there as far as pushing the bottom up and then just keep working the sides down over your pen or whatever it is that you're gonna use. And then once you get it to this opening, you can pull it through. 
oftentimes what happens when you turn this, you'll realize that your lining is facing out instead of being on the inside. So easy enough just to turn that little pocket to the other side and press out your corners. And we'll go back inside and finish up those corners. So I'm going to fiddle with this just a little bit more and get it as flat as I can and the corners pushed out. I have this all turned out. I'm, I will give it a good pressing once I get my little um, opening, you know, fiddled with just a little bit more and get that nice and flat. But here's the thing. With the dimensions that I've given you for making this pouch, um, I've left enough ease in it that we can do an eighth of an inch top stitching all the way around the entire pouch. It'll make the quarter fit in there just even a little bit tighter. Everything will lay nice and flat. I'm going to go ahead and give this a good pressing and then um, do an eighth of an inch from the edge top stitch and then come back for just the last finishing up. The top stitching is all done and it's a perfect fit for the quarter. Now the last part we need to do is actually put our little snaps in. I have cam snaps. This is what I'm going to be using and I'll show you how I do that. And I do have the, um, this is the male side of the cam snap, and I did position it on here just to kind of see where I wanted that, marked it so I know where to punch the hole through with my awl, and, you know, just being really careful not to go through to, through all layers of the fabric. Just want to go through this front piece right here, turn a little bit so you're not poking through the back that's good and then taking the flat end that has to go on the inside and then through that hole it's gonna be a little fiddly there get that pushed through there and I got the male end oh, it's gonna be a little tricky as I just do it with the fabric all you know on the back side because I can't get it inside this thing but it works out fine and then just give it a good press if it didn't line up well which sometimes happens because of the, of all the layers you might have to redo it again then just taking this part also want to make sure my quarter <laughs> is gonna fit fine as far as how far I bring that down. I'll mark, I can feel the underneath one indentation. So I write, know right where to put that. And and then making sure I use the female side of the snap. And looks good. So there's a little quarter pouch. This packet of um, findings I actually got from Walmart. A split ring on it and then one of these little clasps, clasps onto the split ring. There it is, all complete, the little coin pouch. And the cam snap works great. Quarter fits perfectly in there. You could probably get a couple quarters in there if you needed to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you make some of these. Um, they're pretty quick little projects. Uh, working tiny can be a little fiddly and daunting maybe sometimes, but actually do the same kind of pattern using cork fabric, and you can, uh, without having to turn it, you can just do, you know, maybe take um, an eighth of an inch off of the measurements so that um, you can just stitch the cork fabric and, and then have the cut edges on the outside versus on the inside. Hopefully next week we're going to be looking at doing more artistic pieces, just getting through the holidays, um, just trying to get a bunch of little fiddly things done. So um, hopefully get back and do some artwork after the holidays are done with. I hope this finds you all happy and healthy and until next time, have a great one. Bye for now.